Arctic sea ice reflects about 80% of the sun's heat, stabilizing the colder temperature of the ocean. Based on the latest satellite data cited in a December 2007 article, National Aeronautics and Space Administration climate scientist Jay Zawali predicts that nearly all the ice could be gone from the Arctic Ocean by the end of summer 2012. Arctic ice in September 2007 was 23% below previous record low from NASA satellite data and 50% below 1950 levels from ship data. Other records surpassed. Greenland surface ice loss is now 400% greater than 15 years ago. Surface temperatures in the Arctic are the highest in 77 years of record keeping. There is hope. According to James Hansen, top climate scientist at NASA, we have passed tipping points. We have not passed a point of no return. We can still roll things back, but it is going to require a quick turn in direction. We have to save this planet so that we'll be able to stay first. Because if the ice all melt, you know, if the pole all melt out, and then if the sea is warm, then the gas will be released from the ocean and we all be poisoned by the gas from the ocean. It's a lot of gas, enough to kill everyone. If you see the, the Singapore uh, lecture, I already warned that we have to change the way we live, it, otherwise it's too late. It's the 10 or 15 years ago. Uh, before that, I always talk about how we deforest our planet, yeah? Meat eating and all that is contribute to a lot of damage to our planet, you know? The scientists say many things. They're listening now, but I just hope they do it fast. It just take action. All the governments in the world really take it now seriously. Mm -hmm. It's just I'm worried the action might be too slow, that's all. Because the eyes are reflecting the sun, you see? So I send it back into the space. But uh, the eyes are melting so fast now that there's not enough reflection, yeah? And because the sea is already warm. And because the sea warm, it melts the ice. And because the ice melts, the sea warmer. You mm -hmm. see what I mean, the cycle? the way it is going, if they don't fix it. Four or five years time, finito. No more. It's really that urgent. reports that are heightening concerns on climate change and our planet's future, Supreme Master Television has great concern. Thus, we respectfully invited Supreme Master Ching Hai to a discussion on current issues and solutions. Despite her busy schedule, Supreme Master Ching Hai graciously granted a teleconference to address our questions. In regards to climate change... Is this climate change comparable? What would be your advice? Recently, Supreme Master Ching Hai shared with our association members the dire situation of our planet. She spoke of the need for the Earth to maintain its equilibrium, a view shared by many leading scientists. 
According to a study by the University of Southern California in the U.S., a similar phenomenon occurred once before already, affecting countless plants and animal species 250 million years ago. They say that um, uh, 250 million years back, 90% of Earth's species were already destroyed. Yes. So, is this climate change comparable to anything else in the history of the Earth? You mean because of the gas? Yes. Well, it will be similar. Gas is gas. In their new book, Diet, Energy and Global Warming, researchers at the University of Chicago state that a vegetarian diet saves 50% more carbon emissions than switching from a Chevrolet Suburban SUV to a Toyota Prius Hybrid. Hello, Master. Hello. I wanted to ask if you had a message for the leaders of the world. I would say to them that use their mighty power to change the diet of the planet and adopt immediately renewable energy and set that example by themselves by becoming a vegetarian or vegan. They first have to be vegetarian and then they use their power to it. Like the way they forbid smoking, they could do that to forbidding meat as well by citing all the, the harm that meat would do to humans and the planet. It's not just the technology, because the karma is more important than just the technology. So we have to meditate on vegetarianism, you know, for all the people to have peace and to be vegetarian. And the technology added to it as well. Vegetarianism is for the long-term benefit, to lessen the karma, to touch the mercy of heaven. As the conference drew to a close, the call to global action was made very clear. What was equally certain was that saving the planet depends on how soon those actions are taken. Are the effects of what we've done to the planet reversible um, in regards to climate change? Oh well, to some extent, if the government and the people in the world act fast, maybe we can reverse somehow. But I think not so quickly, 100%, like the primordial state of the world before. Yes. If we act fast, then the world will not get worse. And then the earth will be more protected and uh, maybe the damage will be recovered. I wish really that we have the planet will continue to live and the children will grow up in a better environment. But it's up to humanity to decide what they want and which direction they turn. Master, another question is, um if you had a message for the world, what uh, what would it be? That I love them very much. We sincerely thank Supreme Master Ching Hai for your deep love and faith in humanity for the future of our planet. We are grateful for your taking the time to share your insights, which truly give us inspiration and hope. We pray that together, our efforts for the planet may help to create a lasting, healthy environment for our current and future generations.